Dropkick and Komodo. Dropkick and Komodo head up to the arena. Live please. a little early because we just saw Dropkick 2 walk in. Absolute demon on wheels. This is going to be a fun one. Looks like they also brought a flag to represent, and I like that a lot. Absolutely. I think team spirit matters the most. God, that thing is terrifying. That thing looks absolutely demonic. That is terrifying. But you know, Komodo is no joke either. We saw what it did to Cherno Alpha in round one. Mm -hmm. So this should be a very, very exciting match. A good matchup. And before we get into this crazy match, let's turn it over to the two maestros of mayhem themselves. Yeah, so Dropkick, Dropkick has a nasty vertical weapon. Uh, a lot can go wrong really quickly. I have to be careful when approaching him. I have to make sure that I engage with the correct part of Komodo. If Dropkick is able to get a hit on me anywhere other than the weapon, it's game over. Avoid the front of Dropkick with anything but the weapon. I get around to the side, get to the wheels, and if I can get a hit on the uprights with the weapon, I can maybe shave them down enough to make him bounce on the floor. That's probably the win condition for me. This is standard Komodo, uh, except I have removed the forks. Dropkick does not really have ground game per se, so the forks are more of a liability than what they're worth. This other configuration, I have a clean face in the front, so whenever I'm facing horizontals, there's not as much there to grab doesn't have a lot of protection here, whereas this version of Komodo has a titanium plate right here. So if I go head to head with a uh, dropkick on this face, I have a little bit more protection. What do you say to the driver of dropkick about what he's got to look forward to in this fight? Better think quick. <laughs> <laughs> Better move fast. Perfect. <laughs> So I'm here with Dropkick today. We're repping the state of Florida. I'm ready to take on Komodo and the best that Georgia has to offer. It's going to be an awesome fight. I got to watch out for when Komodo swings around and I got to avoid that big hit. Uh, if I can get underneath his weapon, pop him up real good. Hopefully I can take it clean off. I don't know about that. It'll be a, that'll be a big task for me, but uh, I'm, I'm up for it every time. I don't know. Florida state champ and Georgia state champ sounds pretty great to me. We'll see you in the arena. And the match starts. Oh, oh, oh. Taking big chunks out of the arena. Oh, wow. seeing some massive hits here from Dropkick and Komodo. Oh, wow, the sparks. You guys can't hear the sound in here, but the sound is insane. This might be the most exciting match we've seen today. Komodo looks completely unscathed. Look at that. Their bot looks immaculate. It is so low. It is so low. Komodo, oh wow, big hit for Komodo. That might have finished the match right there. Dropkick two is so good. They want to see this through to the end, and I respect that. Kabota looking for that last big hit to finish the match. All right, that's tab. That is nice match. Fight. Oh, crap. You got a good hit on my upright, yeah, on the my, carbon my fiber. My weapon wasn't spinning up as fast as I wanted to. I think it started, the, I think the plastic started melting and it started fusing. I heard, yeah, I heard it's a good one. Incredible showing for both teams. That was amazing. Age old question, vertical spinner versus horizontal. Well, I think low to the ground, that is the move right here. It really was. I mean, look at Komodo too, barely a scratch on there. Oh, I mean. Incredible. Yeah, like it's, it is incredible. I agree with, I'm speechless. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. That might be the best match we see all day today.
That was that was something else. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. So we had a pretty electric fight, huh? I mean, that was that was nuts. That was crazy. Like that, that you completely bent my blade. Let's show the people. Oh, yeah, show them that that bent up blade. It's got quite the warp to it. I'll go ahead and show a little bit more. He's only the second person to get a piece off a drop kick, uh, besides for Promhita at the NHRL finals, and only the second person also to break the weapon. So, yeah, <laughs> testament to how strong his bot is, man. So, uh, what were you thinking during that fight? Um, I was thinking I just had to outmaneuver you. Um, vertical spinners uh, have a hard time with gyro, typically. Yeah. Um, horizontal, I can play uh, the maneuvering game and try and get around to your sides a lot easier. Yeah. Um, but you changed your driving style halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you did a really good job at like adapting to the situation and yeah. made it much more difficult for me to engage with you. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah. that was a, that was an absolutely great fight. Yeah. Uh, for those of you at home, I was driving uh, very silly in the beginning and just kind of like going, you know, full throttle all the way forward. And then I got a little smarter about halfway through. Um, and that weapon, when it bent, it hit the um, it hit the pulley and took out like basically slowed the weapon way way down. So it was spinning, but it really wasn't spinning too fast. All the electronics are okay, but you chunked up these wheels pretty good. I mean, it still kept driving. <laughs> yeah, there's almost nothing there, and I mean that's that's nuts. That's crazy. But yeah, man. I mean, we put on a show. I would say, I would say that's the people's main event. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little biased, but, uh, yeah, I had a great time fighting with you, man. It was a great time coming up here, and, uh, yeah, so um, what would what do you say, like, uh, was your biggest takeaway from that fight? Like, the biggest, like, point, like, the thing that you learned about your robot versus a robot like this weird one in front of you? Uh, when you play defensively, it is really difficult to approach you. Gotcha, yeah. So you kind of had to draw me out some more. Uh, right, and when you stopped letting me draw you out, then it became much more difficult, and that was a very interesting takeaway for me. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I have to draw, like, I have to come out, because I'm behind on the damage points. I got to start going with the aggression. Um, yeah, I think we were, we, were both, we were both in, like, a haze of, oh, crap, like, in the beginning, because... Because you kind of veered off and hit the wall, and then I just kind of yeah. drove off in the middle of the arena and flipped myself <laughs> over. So it was like the two of us were like, ooh, 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 in the first few seconds. But then after that, it was just like, okay, we're here. This is what's going on. Both of our jitters were gone mm -hmm. after the first few seconds, and then just absolute chaos. So, yeah. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I know this was a lot shorter than I was hoping it would be, but we got the fight we wanted, you know, people's main event. And... Uh, Georgia state champ remains the state champ. So good job champ. Great so this weekend I found out that Miles truly is the genuine article, the Georgia state champ. He was fantastic to fight against and all the people that worked on this event so hard there at the University of Georgia did such a great job. It was their first big event and they have plenty to be proud of. It was really getting great getting to meet these guys and I can't wait to go back up there again. I even left my flag up there so they'd remember me. So thank you so much guys for having me out and I'll see you guys next time I come up to Georgia. That trip up north was one to remember.